Jay Radha Madhava <coughs> Kunja Bihari Jay Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gopi Janavala Bhagiri Vardhari Gopi Janavala Bhagiri Vardhari Yashodanandana Braja Janaranjana Yashodanandana Braja Janaranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachade Yamuna Tira Vanachade Hare Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hare Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hare Jaya Radha Madhava Kunjabi Hare Madhava Kunjabi Hare Jaya Mishpah Paramahamsa Parivadu Kuchoy Ashtotar Ashtotar Shri Shimad is Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai Grantarad Shimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai All glories to the assembled devotees All glories to the assembled devotees All glories to the assembled devotees All glories to Shri Guru and Shri Gauranga Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya so, Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 7 <clears throat> Science of God, Chapter 6, Prahlad Instructions to Demoniac Schoolmates, chap, uh, text 27. So if everybody could please repeat after me. <coughs> Gyanam tad etad amalam duravapam aha narayano nara sakaha kila naradaya ekantinam Bhagavatas Tad Akinchanaram Padaravinda Rajasa Pluta Dehinam Syat Chintamani. All right. Chintamani. Gyanam tad etad amalam duravapa aha Gyanam tad etad amalam duravapa aha 
Narayano Narasaka Kila Naradaya Ekanti Nam Bhagavatas Tada Kinchananam Padaravinda Rajasa Pluta Dehi Nam Syat Jnanam tad etad amalam duravapan Oh, excuse me. Jnanam tad etad amalam duravapam aha Narayano narasaka kila naradaya Ekanti nam bhagavatas tada kinchananam Padaravinda rajasa pluta dehi nam syat One more time. Jnanam tad etad amalam duravapam aha Narayano Narasaka Kila Naradaya Ekanti Nam Bhagavatas Tada Kinchananam Padaravinda Rajasa Pluta Dehi Nam Syat Please chant Jnanam, knowledge, tat, that, a tat, this, a malam, without material contamination, duravapam, very difficult to understand, without the mercy of a devotee. Aha, explained. Narayanaha, Lord Narayan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Narasakaha, the friend of all living entities, especially human beings. Kila, certainly. Naradaya, unto the great sage Narada. 
ekantinam of those who have surrendered exclusively to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Bhagavataha of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Tat that knowledge. Akinchananam who do not claim any material possessions. Pada Aravinda of the lotus feet of the Lord. Rajasa by the dust. Apluta bathed. Dehinam whose bodies. Syat is possible. Translation. Commentary by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Narayan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the well-wisher and friend of all living entities, formally explained this transcendental knowledge to the great saint Narada. Such knowledge is extremely difficult to understand without the mercy of a saintly person like Narada. But everyone who has taken shelter of Narada's disciplic succession can understand this confidential knowledge. Purport. It is stated here that this confidential knowledge is extremely difficult to understand, yet it is very easy to understand if one takes shelter of a pure devotee. This confidential knowledge is also mentioned at the end of Bhagavad Gita, where the Lord says, Sarvadharman pratyaja maamekam sharanambraja. Abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender unto me. This knowledge is an extremely confidential secret, but it can be understood if one approaches the Supreme Personality of Godhead through the bona fide agent, the spiritual master, and the disciplic succession from Narada. Prahlad Maharaj wanted to impress upon the sons of the demons that although such knowledge can be understood only by a saintly person like Narada, they should not be disappointed. For if one takes shelter of Narada instead of material teachers, this knowledge is possible to understand. Understanding does not depend upon high parentage, the living entity is certainly pure on the, on the spiritual platform, and therefore anyone who attains the spiritual platform by the grace of the spiritual master can also understand this confidential knowledge. So we'll read the next two. Shuttam etan maya purvam jnanam viganam samyutam dharmam bhagavatam shudham narada devadarshanat Prahlad Maharaj continued, I received this knowledge from the great saint Narada Muni, who is always engaged in devotional service. This knowledge, which is called Bhagavad Dharma, Bhagavad Dharma is fully scientific. It is based on logic and philosophy and is free from all material contamination. Next. The sons of the demons replied, Dear Prahlad, neither you nor we nor know any teacher or spiritual master other than Shanda and Amarka, the sons of Shukracharya. After all, we are children, and they are our controllers. For you especially, who always remain within the palace, it is very difficult to associate with a great personality. Dear friend, most gentle one, would you kindly explain how it was possible for you to hear Narada? Kindly dispel our doubts in this regard. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta purports of the seventh canto, sixth chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam. <coughs> Tata Prahlad instructs his demoniac schoolmates. Om Ajnana Tivadanda Sya Gananjana Shalaka Chakshuvan Militam Nina Tasma Shri Gurvena Maham Kam Kritvacha Lam Pangam Langa Tegirim Yakripa Tamaham Bande Shri Gurindiri Tana Nam Baja Kopiri Bishra Kripa Sindhu Bevicha Patita Nam Pavane Bio Vaishnave Bio Namon Mahajai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhupada Nanda Shri Advaita Gadatha Shri Vasadi Gauru Bhaktivinna Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. All right, so translation again of text 27. Narayan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the well-wisher and friend of all living entities, formally explained this transcendental knowledge to the great Saint Narada. Such knowledge, knowledge is extremely difficult to understand without the mercy of a saintly person like Narada. 
But everyone who has taken shelter of Narada's disciplic succession can understand this confidential knowledge. One uh, thinker of the past, German thinker, he mentioned how, how a book is like a mirror, and if, a, uh, if an ape looks into a mirror, you can't expect a, a, an apostle to look out. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, thing he said. Uh, so, and in relation to Krishna consciousness, this purport and the verse and purport of the 27 is, is mentioning, you could say, the process of uh, knowledge or how to understand things. And that is we have to surrender to uh, an authority or one who knows. Uh, this is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. Does anyone remember the verse? Actually, one time Srila Prabhupada was asked, what's the most important verse of the Bhagavad Gita? He was asked a number of times. To, but um, I think, actually, I think he asked his disciples, and then they were saying different verses, like, Sarvadhamam Prithija, if you surrender unto me, I'll protect you, Krishna says. Um, but in one particular case, he mentioned a verse in the fourth chapter. Did any of the younger devotees have... Huh? Yeah. You want to repeat it in the microphone? Te we'll test your memory. Tadvidhi pranipate na pariprasne na sevaya upadekshanti te gyanam gyani na statva darshinaha. So tadvidhi. So one who wants to know something, one should, or Krishna is instructing Arjuna, that one should approach a spiritual master, and one should um, very submissively inquire from him and also uh, render service unto him. And because that spiritual master has seen the truth, he can impart that truth unto others. Yeah, Tattva Darshana. They've seen the truth, so they can impart it to others. When Srila Prabhupada went back to India, uh, after, after coming to America, he went back to India, to spread Krishna consciousness. Um, I mean, someone asked him about that. Oh, your spiritual master gave you the service to, to preach Krishna consciousness in the Western world, to deliver the Western world. And they asked him, so why are you going back to India? And then Srila Prabhupada's comment was that, oh, I already spread Krishna consciousness in the Western world, so I'm going back to India to do that. So while he was there at a... Bombay, uh, Pandal, um, there was one American man there, and he was, yeah, you could say dressed in a, I would say rough looking way, <laughs> kind of like a motorcycle guy. Um, you know, he had chains and you know, tattoos and long hair, and he, he was coming in a challenging mood. He's coming to challenge Sri the Prabhupada. And, and Sri the Prabhupada, he actually invited him onto the stage, on the stage. Prabhupada said, Oh, bring him asan, bring him a seat. So Prabhupada, so the devotees brought him a seat. And this was in front of like, thousands of people. This is in front of a lot of people. <laughs> and then the man started to challenge Sri the Prabhupada and he said, he said, How old is the how old is the Bhagavad Gita? And Sri the Prabhupada said, five thousand years old. And then the man started to say, Well, according to my uh, my understanding, it's two thousand years old. And then Sri the Prabhupada said, That's nonsense. And then they, they kept on going back and forth, and it became a bit of a, yeah, sh shouting match in front of all these people. <laughs> and then um, Srila Prabhupada was asking the man, what is the process for understanding Bhagavad Gita? And then the fellow was saying, because he was asking some more challenging questions, and he said, 
No, you answer my question first, the man was saying to Prabhupada. And Prabhupada said, I'm not your servant. You answer my question. What is the process of understanding Bhagavad Gita? And they're going back. <laughs> and eventually, um, Prabhupada, he, he told the devotees, okay, take him off of the stage. Take him off stage. And then at that particular point in the whole uh, audience, there was a, there was a shift of consciousness and that some people they were agreeing with Srila Prabhupada that what he did was right but there was a number of people disagreeing with Srila Prabhupada what, that what he did was wrong and uh, so the devotees who were distributing books they retreated from the crowd <laughs> some people were angry so they got out of the crowd and uh, but Srila Prabhupada went on to explain that the process of understanding the Bhagavad Gita, and he quoted this verse that Amogalila Prabhu quoted, that one should approach an authority and surrender and inquire, and that uh, such persons could give you knowledge because they were seeing the truth. So he was demonstrating uh, practically what the process is and what the process is not. This man, he had no access because he was challenging. Um, so later in the back, <laughs> there was there, the organizer of the events, one of the organizers, they went to Malati Devi and they said, your, your spiritual master ruined the program. They said that to her, to her the organizer. <laughs> and what do you think Malati did? Does anyone know? Or want to guess what she did? No, that Malati, she, she slapped the organizer in the face. And she said, my Guru Maharaj didn't destroy anything. <laughs> kind of transcendental anger. You know. um, so yeah, the process is, is that one has to surrender in disciplic succession. Okay, there's, there's Krishna and, and, and he... Uh, gives knowledge to Brahma, Brahma to Narada, and then the disciplic succession to the present moment. It hasn't stopped. Then you have Srila Prabhupada, then you have his disciples. So disciplic succession. So one has to surrender in disciplic succession. succession means one should accept a guru. And that is actually the first step in spiritual life, is to ex accept a guru, the first step. And the second step is to follow the instructions, <laughs> right? Follow the instructions of the spiritual master. Um, and the instructions of the spiritual master, they're the, he, he is just repeating what Krishna says. And what does Krishna say? He says, like in the Bhagavad Gita, right? he says, Sarva dharma pritya may come sharanam vraja. So, Krishna says, abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender to me. So, the, so Krishna is saying that, and that's what the spiritual master says, surrender to Krishna. Uh, so in this particular age, what does it mean to surrender to Krishna? Um, we're not going to surrender to an elaborate form of deity worship. We don't have such means to do that. Um, we're not going to we're not going to surrender to a an elaborate form of meditation we also don't have such means to do that being able to control the mind and sit you know for so long <laughs> and we're not going to surrender to what's another one meditation deity worship yeah sacrifices long pujas we're not going to be able to do that I mean, we have a hard time, you know, we went to a puja yesterday. It was quite long. <laughs> um, it was somebody, somebody passed, Indira, those of you who know her, uh, Paneshwari's mother, longtime community member here in San Diego. Prabhupada met her at Swarga Lakshmi's house. Swarga Lakshmi also left recently. Um, but Indira, she, she actually cooked for Srila Prabhupada a number of times here in San Diego. She also went up to L.A. and cooked for Prabhupada. 
Uh, anyway, she, she, she left recently, so we went to their, they asked us to go to their home and participate in this puja. And yeah, it's quite long, I mean, kind of, yeah, something like that, South Indian, yeah, South Indian, yeah, long process. Um, and sometimes, anyways, people, people may wonder, like, it's such a long process, because what, what, you're, what you're doing, you're offering things to the forefathers, right? You could just make a kind of short offering, but it's a long offering with a lot of mantras and so on. And I remember Dravida Prabhu, he was mentioning, I think it was you, but maybe it was somebody else, but they're saying these South Indian weddings are so long, they're like a number of days, you know? So then they're like, all right, well, I better not even think about divorcing and remarrying them have to go through that long marriage ceremony again. It's very long. Um, but we don't have such means, such patience to do these things. So to surrender to Krishna in this age, what does it mean practically? It means to surrender to Hare Krishna chanting, the, the, the chanting of the holy names of Krishna, Japa and uh, Kirtan. And this is what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Nityananda Prabhu, they came to give us, this chanting of Hare Krishna. Um, and this is the perfect process for this age. Very simple, very easy. Um, and aside from us just chanting ourselves, but we want to uh, try to give it to as many people as possible. Uh, try to try to try to um, create interest in, in 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 the general public, somehow or other. Uh, <clears throat> like last night, we we went to Krishna Lounge in in uh, Chula Vista our baby sister lounge, and Maharaj was giving a talk there. Nice talk. Um, and there was a number of new people. And some of these people, how they found out about us, there's actually one couple and another person, they found out about us. We, we posted something on Eventbrite. You know, people want to go to events, so it's, it's a website that advertises events for free. So they were looking up Krishna Das, because apparently Krishna Das is coming to San Diego, for those of you who are interested. <laughs> um, but, and while they're looking up Krishna Das, we came up after that Krishna Lounge, South Bay, so they came on that uh, basis. So they're nice people. No, no, they're, they, they knew that this wasn't he wasn't coming to our place. They're, he's he's planning in like two weeks to come, but they like Kirtan, and they live down there. So they said, "Okay, we'll check you out. Check you guys out." Um. So, so yeah, there's so many ways to try to create interest to advertise. Really, we're we're meant to advertise uh, Krishna or the Krishna conscious consciousness movement. Uh, by different ways, like in the like in like in India when they do that bon, Bombay Pandal program, like there, the, Shama Sundar Prabhu he arranges a blimp, right, and it said Hari Krishna, um, cross Maidan the Pandal, and then big signs everywhere all over the city, a lot of advertisement going on, or else how can we expect people to know? I mean, people are really, I mean, really. There's a lot of ignorance going on. I mean, sometimes you, you like I remember sh, uh, our, our neighbor here, she, she has this business, the hair salon business. And then we had, our, we had a sign, we just made a sign. And the sign wasn't, wasn't bright colors and like, like a sign that popped. So we had our sign there on the sidewalk, and then she had her sign, which was bright colors. It was teal and whatever. 
So we stop people walking by and we say, oh, how do you like our sign? How do you like the sign? And they just completely overlooked our sign. And they said, yeah, it looks good. That teal, you know, color lo looks good. I mean, this, our sign was right there. And I was dressed like this. And, you know, why would I be asking about our neighbor's sign? I'm in front of the temple. I was asking about our sign. But they just weren't seeing it. Which you could say there's some reason, that you know, the colors or whatever. But, but what I'm saying is like people are quite absent-minded. And over time, be people become more absent-minded. Or you could say, or as Srila Prabhupada said, they ask, you know, sometimes, well, well, why did you come to America? They said, well, I, I, I came to give you a brain. <laughs> so people are... Or I remember, I, I mentioned this, but I was at Home Depot. I mean, I was just like this at Home Depot. I mean, we were going to whatever, something for the temple. And then somebody asked me, oh, uh, you work here? <laughs> work here? <laughs> yeah, my orange... <laughs> Because they wear orange to Home Depot, but still, it's like you know, I have this on my forehead, and you know, I'm, I'm wearing a robe. You know, it's like, oh, you work here? It's like, no, sorry, I don't work here. And it happened to me again. I was at Michael's. It's an arts and crafts store. You know, picking up something, and then somebody came. Oh yeah, you work here? You know. So I don't know. Sometimes there's this a lot of talk about, you know, Western dress versus Eastern dress. I mean, people aren't even noticing. <laughs> It's like, I don't you know, how much do people, I don't know, you know. Um, so, so yeah, people are absent-minded. So in other words, you gotta, we kind of have to try to get into their minds by so many different means through advertising and bringing people to Krishna. Uh, that's the idea. So, uh, and that's like Narada's business. He's traveling, right? He's traveling all over the universe, like literally all over the universe. And, what, and he's giving people Krishna consciousness. And he has so many qualified disciples, right? Who are some of the disciples of Narada Muni? Prahlad Maharaj, Dhruva, Vyasadev, <laughs> who else? Yeah, Mugari, he became qualified, right? So, so many wonderful disciples he has. Um, yeah, how many were there? Like, th yeah, ten thousand, one thousand. So there's all these qualified uh, disciples, and that's the idea that the spiritual master qualified spirit Sri the Prabhupada and his his disciples qualified spiritual masters. They go and they create other disciples, qualified disciples, and they carry things on. Um, and that's, you could say, the great need of, 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 yeah, this time, actually. We're in a very interesting time. Like, I think there was one person from China. It's like, it's like, it was like a kind of blessing curse. May you live in interesting times. <laughs> so it's an interesting time in good ways and not so good ways, but... Like I was, I was, I, I, as you know, as a number of you know, I, I, I went to Guyana and Suriname. And uh, I also joined Tirtamarsh in Czech Republic and Germany. And it's interesting because the, the, the similar things are going on in these places. Krishna consciousness is going on. There's many devotees, people becoming initiated and so on. But there's a great need for um, yeah, you could say like leadership devotees to take on responsibility in different ways uh, in, terms of, in terms of preaching or spreading Krishna consciousness that's a great need for local devotees to try to spread Krishna consciousness but also just for leaders <laughs> I mean, you, you go to Guyana, you go to Suriname, you go to these places and you wonder who's going to initiate these devotees Who are you? Me? Yeah, I was trying to encourage Tirtamarsh to do it, but he's kind of has his reluctant for different reasons or his hesitations. But it's like, yeah, you go to Czech Republic, Germany, and Kadamba Kanana Swami was very active there. But he left. And then Danavir Goswami was very active there. 
but he's, he's having quite severe health problems. And then you go similarly, similarly to, to, to these other places, it's a similar thing happening. There's like a, like a guru shortage. <laughs> guru shortage and also other devotees taking leadership roles in other ways, kind of preaching shortage. Um, so, so to be in knowledge, it means, to, what is it? To, so, so to be in knowledge, an aspect of being in knowledge is that we have to fill the, we feel the need to give it. And then it's complete. Shravanam kirtanam. Right? We hear and then we chant. We hear and then we speak. And then it's complete. It's a complete process. Um, and as Srila Prabhupada told Yamuna Devi about cooking, sometimes cooks get envious, <laughs> uh, but Prabhupada told Yamuna Devi about cooking, you know, wonderful cook, Yamuna Devi, right? Anybody had her cooking here? You had her cooking? Nice. Sharnagarti, Canada? Alachua. You had her cooking. Yeah, yeah so we had two. <laughs> so um, I remember Rajan Jananana Prabhu, he, would, he wouldn't cook often, but sometimes he would. He would bring prasadam to these like Christmas programs and stuff. And he would make something, a small little, you know, for the devotees. And then the devotees, I remember, they're really liking something. You know, oh, this is so good. And he said, yeah, yeah. So Yamuna's recipe, you know. She, he was just following that and <clears throat> worked out. <laughs> Um, but Prabhupada told Yamuna Devi, he said, oh, you should teach others. And he said, if you don't teach others, you'll become envious. It's interesting. Um, so this idea of sharing uh, as much as possible. Um, and therefore we have our friend Kaimi here, right? He's here for a month, right? About a month. And, and also Ashra Maharaj here. I think he's here for less time. Um, uh, the idea is that uh, the idea is that they want to start a lounge, a Krishna lounge in Honolulu. It's a very good place to do that. People like to lounge in Hawaii, <laughs> so yeah, that's why they go there. So Krishna lounge. So people like you know, Prasadam's universal, right? Um, kirtan music, yeah. I, they really like these things in, in, in Hawaii, it seems. So, so the idea is that he, he's here to check out the lounge and to see you know, the operations of the lounge, specifically the Thursday one, because that's been going on longer. It's, it's more established than that Friday one. And then to go back and, and start it up, <laughs> which an Asha Maharaj will be there and other devotees will be there to to, to help contribute that. And, and uh, yeah, that's a wonderful thing, actually. Um, and and by, by engaging in such activities, trying to give Krishna consciousness to others, then we will uh, be the recipi recipients of of Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda's mercy, they'll shower us with their blessings. That's what we need. We need the blessings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Nityananda. And of course, you have Panchatattva Pancha there in Honolulu, so it's a perfect place. You have the mercy of, of Panchatattva, very beautiful deities in Honolulu. The whole Panchatattva there. All right, does anybody have any? Also, Ashram Maharaj will give class tomorrow. And then he'll be giving a number of classes in the week. I mean, that's my idea. <laughs> we have to confirm with him if he'll do that. But a number of Bhagavatam classes, most of them. And um, some Krishna Lounge talks or talk. He'll also give him the Sunday talk um, tomorrow on Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. His 150th anniversary. So we're having two days. Today at four, we'll have Kirtan and then the RT, and then we'll have a class by Javita Prabhu and Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. 
And then tomorrow we'll have an Abhishek of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Murti. Giridaya Priya Prabhu is bringing his Murti. And everyone will be allowed to, to bathe Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. And then we'll have 150 offerings for Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. So, yeah. So those are some of the activities going on the next couple of days. So does anybody have any uh, questions or comments? Any online? Uh, yes, I have a question. I can't believe it. You really have a question? <laughs> yes, I do. All right. I'm not, I, I'm not, I, I can't act surprised. Okay, yes, please. Yes, uh, Balaram Prabhu, thank you very much. You're most kind and about pronouns. Prabhu, in the translation, I see that Prahlad Maharaj is saying that, quote, such, no, no, such knowledge is extremely difficult to understand without the mercy of a saintly person like Narada. Yes. Unquote. And this, this quote reminded me of, of the difference, uh, if, there's, if there's any, between understanding Krishna and, be, uh, and understanding Lord Chaitanya. So based on all of this, my exact question is, who, uh, who is more easy to be understood, Lord Krishna or Lord Chaitanya? That is my question. Lord Krishna or Lord Chaitanya? Well, Lord Chaitanya is easier. Uh, Srila Why? Srila Prabhupada explains how, how when Krishna came, he was saying, okay, you, you surrender to me, right? And then what happened is Krishna was seeing that people weren't surrendering. <laughs> so then he came with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he made things easier. Just chan and, right? Um, now, of course... To understand Krishna, to understand Lord Chaitanya, it's you know it's 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 difficult. But but as this verse from Purport is saying, if we have the mercy of a great devotee, of a pure devotee, if we're connected in disciplic succession, it becomes much easier to understand. Um, yeah, but I mean, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is seen as. Yeah. 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 That's a nice verse. Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Vishe Namaha. It's the verse offering. Uh, a translation, please. <laughs> the translation is uh, it's a verse <coughs> offering obeisances to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who is uh, most munificent in uh, giving Krishna prema, or love, a love for Krishna, uh, indiscriminately. Yes, Prabhu, thank you very much. Yes, on that way, it's a little easier. A little easier. Yes, Balaram uh, Prabhu, thank you very much. Okay, Chad. Hare Krishna, Hare very Krishna. educational lecture, thank you. Um, my question for you is, what qualities would you look for in a spiritual master? Would I look for, or, or what or should one Diksha look for? Diksha guru. Or, you personally, or what one well, should? Well, I mean, they should know the scripture, and they should, they, should, um, they should know it, and they should live by it, and they should teach it. That's, that's important. And they should be uh, free from, or detached, you could say, from the material world or from sense gratification. Um, but there's the 26 qualities of devotees that, that's in Chaitanya Charitamrita. That's stated there. Um, what's one of them? Very, very kind. Yeah, poetic. Uh, honest. What is it? Nobody can find fault. Well, that's a tough one. <laughs> so always surrender to Krishna. 
no material desires, clean. So the 26 qualities are there. And, um, but practically speaking, that means that one's, one's surrender. I mean, it all, it all comes from that surrender to Krishna. You surrender to Krishna, all those qualities develop nat naturally. Um, and as that right, provocative verse of the, of the fifth canto says that right, a, a materialist cannot have any good qualities. Sometimes devotees describe it as like somebody who's like a um, well-behaved criminal. You know, he's well-behaved, but there's something in the heart there. And just, you know, the right situation comes and, and, and they're not so... They, the, the verse says they're on the material, they're hovering on the mental platform. So in other words, their goodness could only last so long. Even when you talk about like pious people, Hindus, or Christians, whatever, pious people, their goodness could only last so long. Now you, they may even make they may they may even be able to be good their whole life or do good their whole life, but maybe next life, right? Because because the material world is such, one has to fall from the material platform if they're not if they're not Krishna conscious. And the Yamadutas they say something like that that pretty much we're going to get everybody <laughs> sooner or later, except the Vaishnavas. Devotees of Krishna means God conscious, yeah. So it's um, so yeah. The good twenty six qualities you could look, can analyze. Well, um, yes, I don't want to step, Prabhu. Yeah, I don't want to, but you know, footnotes in your class. But there are <laughs> these verses like uh, Prabhupada would always quote: Tasmad gurum papadeta jigyasu shreya uttamam. Shabde, Parech, and Dishnatam Brahman Yupishamashrayam. So these are like some basic qualities that you look for. The Shabde means absorbed in Shastra, completely learned and following the Shastra, as you mentioned. Uh, Parech, and Dishnatam Brahmani, and also Brahmani means the Supreme Brahman, Krishna. They be, be fixed in devotion and in absorption in the Supreme Absolute Truth. So that's something to look for. And also the first verse of the uh, Upadesha Mita describes. You know the Vegas that day. You have to see. That yeah, that's very important. Yeah, yeah. first verse. First verse of Upadesha Mita. Vacho Vegam, Manasokrota Vegam, Jiva Vegam, Odavapasta Vegam, Etan Vegam, Yovish Etadira, Sarvam Epimam Pritivim Shishishya. That one who can control the demands of of the mind, anger, tongue, belly, genitals, speech, means Goswami. They control the senses. Um, such a person is qualified to make disciples all over the world. So they have to be in control of their senses. They can't be, yeah. So that's very important also. All right. Uh, okay. Grant Tread Srimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai.